The thing that the Lord wanted me to talk about tonight is reconciliation. And what, what, what he means by this, he wants us to be reconciled with him and with man. And, you, and it's by f forgiving is, is the biggest step. In Acts 3.19, it says, Repent, then turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, and that times of refreshing will come. And the, the Lord will refresh you a as you repent and tell him you're sorry. Yes, that's the simple gospel message that Jesus Christ gave and left to us, the Great Commission, to forgive. But if you don't forgive, then he cannot forgive you, our Heavenly Father. And, uh, and then for Ephesians 4.32, it says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, for just as Christ forgave you, forgive yes. your, your people that come against you. We, we can't... If we bear people and don't forgive, it eats on us. The Bible says when you don't forgive, it says rot to the bones. And it's not their bones, it's your bones. Yes. So we, we have to forgive all, all, no matter who hurt us. We don't understand sometimes why That's people right. are hurting yeah. us, but hurt people hurt people. That's right. That's why you just have to love and, and keep loving people yes. in the midst of their unlovableness yes. and it, amazingly That's enough true. people make big turnarounds and, and just show love when you forgive yes. you got to forgive all yes. who have and even it, the Lord will say if you don't forgive put your put your gift at the altar yes. and, and go who you have ought against and make it right and then bring your gift to the Lord, and then he'll receive it. He's not yes. going to receive any gift if you have aught with your fellow man. Yes, that's very true. And what is the saying that hurting people, you know, they have, they care out of hurt, anger, bitterness because they're hurting, but they don't know the deep root behind that anger is hurt. And so they need healing, and that's why we have to let them know about the gospel message that Jesus came to save, heal, deliver, set them free from whatever bondage it is, mental, emotional, and uh, I had an experience myself with um, being in a lawsuit. A year and nine months, it was mental torture, pain to me and my family. We were divided. And there was no other way to get the victory through prayer, prayer, prayer. And God brought a man of God at the Benny Hinn meeting. I had to drive out there one afternoon when he had a praise-a-thon, Benny Hinn. And I know God sent me there. And it was the best thing ever. It was the answer to my prayer request. And God supernaturally had us connect after the meeting. And we just, you know, connected, sharing, talking. Even though he's a married man and I'm single, but God had a plan. And we just kept talking and talking. And then we went out to coffee the next day in the afternoon at a Starbucks. And as I shared more, I told him who my sister was. He couldn't believe it, that she is my sister. I had to go way out there. And who would have known that he knew my sister? And that was totally God. That was a sign. He was looking for business, and I was looking help to settle a lawsuit. And only God could do this, because I couldn't in my own ways. And... Prayer, prayer, but the key is prayer, 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 everyone. That's what I'm saying. We cannot pray without ceasing, like the Bible says. We pray till the victory comes. And so we kept praying and praying. God just, as he connected, like with my sister, phone call, then God started working. And, and I asked God all the time, I forgive them. It was the hardest point in my life. I mean, I was taken advantage of it financially. I was stricken mentally, emotionally. I couldn't even work for months. I had a friend helping me. And just, you know... God restored, restored, and He's still restoring me. And we settled finally, me and my sister. And I give God all the glory, honor, and praise. And now I spend my Thanksgiving with my sister. I mean, I thought for years I would never, you know, go there because of her lifestyle. But she's been coming to Christ and little by little and acknowledging Him. And I spent the night. We had a nice Thanksgiving. And the next morning, I pray over all my nieces, my nephews. I pray that they get the Holy Spirit because they need it. They're teenagers out there. And God did start filling them with the Holy Spirit. And I know that God sent me there for a work also. And just God's just amazing. And now we settled and God gets all the glory on and praise because I couldn't have done it without him. God yeah. did the glory in yeah. He restored our relationship. And I was like, Lord, I need you to also restore this relationship with my sister and my brother. And God's still working on the other sister. So I'm Amen. still waiting on that. God be the glory for every man. Amen. That's the you know the word the Holy Spirit gave me. He wants us reconciled yes. with Amen. Him and with man. That's right. And if your family has hurt you, whoever's hurt you, forgive them. Yes. 
because you don't know if they're going to be right. here tomorrow and That's you won't right. be able to do it and you'll never be able to stand yourself if you don't make peace with everybody. That's right. In, in Hebrews 12, 14, it says, make an effort to live in peace with everyone, yes. to be holy. Yes. Without holiness, no one will see God. That's Amen. right. Amen. And just, you know, the, we just have to love. It's all back to love. Because Jesus is love. And if we don't have love, we don't have Jesus. You know, we just have to reconcile with everyone. Make I don't right. care who hurt you, how right. they came against you, what they did. You know, some of the things I go through, I'm a hospice nurse, and I, I deal with dying people. Mm -hmm. And so I pray with them, and they get happy. Well, she shares with me, so I know about it. <laughs> I, I've had a nurse get me in trouble because I prayed with the patient who loved it. Mm -hmm. There's it's persecution, like, that's right. You know, there is persecution that's out right. there it's when real. you're doing God's work. It's but you just real. have to forgive them because right. they don't know the Lord or they wouldn't have done it to you. That's right. Because in God's hands, people right. that know the Lord don't want anybody to go to hell and perish without God. That's mm. true. And that was one of the things God did with me mm. when I was in the world. I was dating someone that wasn't of God and God dealt with me well finally one day he let me see a vision of hell with those people yeah, screaming yeah. in such torment yeah. I didn't see fire I saw like boiling and I'll never forget those screams as long as I live hell is real people God doesn't yeah. want you to, to perish it's yeah. and it's simple just repent and turn from your ways and, yes. and he'll receive you that's what he's saying yes. that's yeah. what the Holy Spirit showed me reconcile with your maker and yes, with man right. because if we don't forgive others god will god is not going to forgive lied about you just got to everything. forgive and, yes. and go on and that's the really the word the holy spirit wanted to speak to you yes. all today yes. reconciliation Re reconcile with your family members and, yes. and your friends you know yes. it doesn't mean you have to hang out with everybody that's not walking with god that's god true. doesn't want that because in his word Proverbs thirteen twenty. Those mm -hmm. that walk with wise will become yes, wise, but the companion of fools will be destroyed. So be careful yes. who you're around. You can yes. love everybody. God wants us to love all, yes, exactly. but not be companions with them. Yes. How can light and darkness, you know, mix together? You cannot. That's true. And um, so also, I forgot to share because of what I've been through with betrayal and lawsuit. I believe God put me through a test, like He all does. We're all being tested. And I believe that I'm not here by coincidence. I believe that the Lord, you know, rewarded me and promoted me. And I shared that with my friends. And that's what I believe that the Lord was showing me. Because I was, I hear Benny Hinn's teachings a lot. I love going to his meetings and learning. And the Holy Spirit leads me on YouTube where to you know, tune in. And he was talking about the test, you know, where God takes you through. And so I believe that I'm here because God promoted me, elevated me. But um, reconciliation is so important. Also, I believe you need to pray on it. It's not just going to come easy. you got to pray that you'll want to forgive these people and, and how will you do it. But just keep praying. A boss who gets you angry, a family member, I mean, what they did to you, anyone. You know what I mean? Just pray on it. Release them mentally already to the Lord. And then it'll be easier. And pray that God fills you with a lot of love for them. You know, because sometimes it's hard to say, how can I love that person after what they did? I need your love. I need your grace, your mercy. I can't do it without you. You need to fill me with your love and compassion and to show me how to forgive because it's very hard. And I trust me, I've learned to do that, especially with my best friend. She was my best friend and what she did to me. And um, God, if I see her now, I won't feel that bitterness and that anger and hatred because of prayer. You know, I've been keeping her in prayer throughout all this time. And, you know, if I ever see her, I just want to say hello and God bless you. And know that, you know, she can use that money, I hope, for God's kingdom, you know. But what she did to me, that's between her and God. And that's between her and God. That's all I can say. And I am feeling from the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. that He wants all of you that have been hurt, mm -hmm. rejected, abused, and lied about to come into this prayer with yes. me tonight. Mm -hmm. and, and say to the Lord, mm -hmm. Lord, I forgive everybody who hurt me, everybody yes. who's abandoned me, yes. everybody who's come against me. Yes. And Lord, help me to forgive them. And yes. You're all going to feel so free when you do that. Mm, so free. Just, just yeah. tell them now, help me to forgive yes. those who hurt me and abandoned me. And as you do, 
you'll have new life, yes. new freedom in God. Yeah, you'll be free and, and you won't carry the bitterness anymore because you're yes. hurting yourself when you're not forgiving others. Yes. It, it hurts you, not them. Yeah. You feel a weight, you feel burdened, and your your change is what you're doing. You're not setting yourself free. And God wants you to become free. The only way is through forgiveness, simple steps of forgiveness. And I'd like to, you all to invite you to receive Jesus Christ as your yes. Lord and Savior tonight. Yes. Just say, Lord, yes. you died on the cross for my sin. Yes. I'm sorry for my sin. Yes. I receive you in my heart as my Lord and Savior. Yes. And once you do, you're going to feel so free. Yes. And the angels right. in heaven are going to rejoice over your soul not yes. going to hell Amen. now. Amen. It, it's just so simple. Salvation yes. is simple. You just yes. have to... Say the words and, and God will take you in. Yes, He accepts you. And some of the people you think, oh, God can't forgive me. I did terrible things. When you ask for forgiveness, yes. the Lord doesn't even see what you did in the past. Yes. It is finished. It's in the sea of forgetfulness. Just remember, He never brings it up and you don't bring it up either. It's, forget it's forgotten already. You know, he'll wipe that slate clean. You know, you don't have to be walking with that burden. And the enemy will try to say, you know, you know, condemnation, you know, but what is that John 1 says that there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, and you just have to just say, no, devil, when he brings up your future, you tell Satan, I will remind you of your future where you're going, yeah. devil, and just don't let him put that guilt, that condemnation, and just say, no, 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 I'm going to, you know, believe Jesus died for me, he's my savior, and I'm going forward with Jesus Christ because he will give me the new life, the blessed life, the better life. That's what I share with people. He'll give you the high life. Jesus, that's what he came for, to bless you, to give you eternal life. You know, it's free. It's a free gift. You just ask him to come into your heart, to forgive you, and ask him to be your Lord and Savior, and to give you the Holy Spirit, show how to live the victorious Christian life. And it's so simple. You'll just, you know, just have to repent and ask him. And he's there with loving arms. He never turns us away. Never a soul. I don't care what the sin you're in, what pit you are in, he will rise you up, raise you up, and give you a new heart, clean heart, and you will feel light and peace. And that's what we need. Peace is not given to nobody. You can't buy peace. Peace is the gift that the Holy Spirit gives in us when we accept Jesus as a Savior. And we can always ask him for peace whenever we need it. It's better than a pill, you know what I mean? That his joy is continuous joy. He gives us joy unspeakable and full of glory. God is an awesome God. Just I ask you that to please invite Jesus Christ today into your heart. You will never be the same. This is what he is waiting for. This is what you were born for your destiny. He's called us to become saved. We are graced by saved. And we were gotten saved by grace. Amen. 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 We just thank you for coming to this broadcast today. Thank you, dear God. Love, thank you, ministry to the unloved, and yes. the theme is always love yes. everybody. Yes. There's hurting people everywhere. Yes. Love your brother. Love your sister. Yes. They may rub you the wrong way. They may look at you bad. They may think you're crazy. Jesus but, freak. But love is the key. Yes. Love is the answer to all. Yes, it is the main key. That's what the main ingredient that we need is love. And it's just so simple. It's just opening your heart. God gave you childlike faith. And um, it's there. He's available with open arms. You just ask him any time of the day. Even if you, if you want to keep repeating, Jesus, come into your heart. I need you to be my Savior and Lord. I repent from saying this wrong sin. And he is there with loving arms to accept you. And he is so real. He is so real. He will show himself real to you. Amen. amen. God gets the glory. Amen and amen. Amen. And just thank you for yes, thank you, for Holy coming Spirit. to this and Holy listening Spirit. to us all today. I, I just pray that you receive the wisdom of the Lord today yes, about pray. just forgiving everyone. Mm -hmm. It's your freedom. It's not their yes, freedom. It's it'll freedom. be your peace. And it'll be free. Yes, That's what why depression left me. I lived in de depressed till I was 35. Oh, but when I forgave, else. I was free. You know, I'm not the same person. Even a friend that saw me before I forgave, 
goes, you're not the same person anymore. <laughs> no, when you forgive, that depression can't stay with you. That's right. The bitterness can't stay with That's you right. because Amen. you love Jesus and you yes. want to honor him and please him yes. at all costs. That's right. Because he did so much for you on the cross. Right. He bled for you on that cross. Yes. And that's, see you next week. Yes. Next week, God bless you all. God bless you, mother. Mm -hmm.